Tropical Cyclone Herald remains a category of four on the uh, local scale and is currently located 18.9 degrees south, 177.7 degrees east, maximum winds 120 knots and minimum central pressure is 940 millibars. Here's the latest from Fiji. They have central pressure at 952 uh, millibars. This is their track chart. And what's the Joy Typhoon warning centre say? They have the tropical cyclone Howard. About 62 nautical miles southwest of Suva, tracking east southeast at 19 knots. Uh, this is over the last six hours. Animated multi spectral satellite imagery shows that once again, Tropical Cyclone 25P or Held has proven especially resilient with a small cloud filled pinhole eye developing within the last few hours indicative of another round of intensification. The initial position is based with high confidence on both a radar fix from the PGTW based on the Fiji composited radar loop and a partial uh, 36 gigahertz microwave image with a world defined cyan ring at least on the eastern half of the eye captured by the microwave pass. The initial intensity is a slight hedge upward from the subjective VOIC current intensity estimate of a T6 and a satellite consensus estimate of 112 knots. The hedge upward to 120 knots is based mostly on the appearance of the ring and structure in the microwave imagery. The overall environment remains favourable. Those signs are starting to emerge that this may be changing. Vertical wind shear is low to moderate, 10 to 15 knots. Sea surface temperatures, 27 to 28 degrees Celsius. The outflow remains strong, especially towards the east and southeast. The upper level point source that has been entrenched over the cyclone over the last few days is starting to weaken and being replaced by more straight westerly flow aloft, with water vapour imagery showing the pressure produced by this flow on the western side of the system. Combined with the rapid movement southeast towards cooler waters, steady increasing vertical wind shear, the cyclone is forecast to slowly weaken over the next 12 hours, then rapidly weaken thereafter through the remainder of the forecast period. The system is forecast to track southeast with over the next 48 hours along the periphery of a northwest southwest oriented steering ridge centered far to the northeast. By 36 hours the cyclone will begin interacting with the mid-latitude westerlies and by 48 hours will become absorbed in the strong westerlies and complete transition as a storm strength extra tropical cyclone. So that is the latest from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre and Tonga has various local warnings currently in place. Now we have a look at some information from the HWRF model the intensity uh, scale
Now the uh, wind speed in knots, the scale is on the right hand side of the page. And the rainfall information, Force 13 will continue to bring the latest uh, information on held uh, via the AU and main channels. Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information about Force 13, you can check us out on all of our outlets. Our website, force13.com, where we are overhauling the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube, keyword Force 13. You're probably there already, good chance of that. If you are, hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like this one coming to your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, keyword Force 13, where we post our updates and keep an eye out for our live coverage on there as well. And we're on Twitter, keyword Force 13. And if you want to rock our colors like Nathan Foy here, you can go to our store available at store.force13.com or you can contribute to the project directly by way of the Patreon. More information about patronage and the privilege you can get from patronage can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13 and you can reach out to us on Skype at force13 or to me directly on Discord at trin extension 1375 or you can join our server with our new link at discord.gg forward slash force13.